Welcome to the 2021 Virtual Gold Achievement Gala Live program. We are so excited to have you join us in this celebration of our Gold Achievement Gala honorees and their accomplishments. Please join us in reciting the Girl Scout Promise and Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout Law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considering, caring, courageous and strong, responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our host for this evening, Gia Peppers, a multi-talented entertainment journalist and on-air talent who has worked with BET, the NBA, Essence Magazine, Billboard, Complex, Hot 97, and more. Gia, thank you so much for being here with the Girl Scouts of Greater New York tonight. Thank you for that beautiful intro, and thank you all for joining us from wherever you are for what is sure to be an inspiring night. This evening, we will be celebrating our 2021 Gold Achievement Gala honorees, Kia Clark, CEO of the New York Liberty, Janine Liebird, Chief Social Impact and Communications Officer at BET, Marcy Sims, President, Cy Sims Foundation, and Pat Patrice Tanaka, Founder and Chief Joy Officer, Joyful Planet LLC. We are also honoring Girl Scouts. Troop 2508, based at the Packer Collegiate Institute in Brooklyn, for their Gold Award projects where they brought the Girl Scout experience to younger girls at a community on the Lower East Side. Tonight, we celebrate, celebrate surviving the last year together, celebrate these incredible women and girls who have and will continue to change the world for the better. And of course, celebrate the Girl Scouts of Greater New York who continue to build girls of courage, confidence, and character every single day. As a former and forever Girl Scout, I know firsthand the first skills taught to young women through Girl Scouting. And I am honored to begin the program by interviewing the CEO of the Girl Scouts of Greater New York, Meredith Mascara. Welcome, Meredith. <laughs> Gia, thank you, and thank you all for being here tonight. I'm so thrilled to be sitting so close to you. Same, because we are both vaccinated, so everyone, please, you know, don't trip out. We are vaccinated and very happy to do it in person. <laughs> I really wanted to be here tonight as a former and always Girl Scout, so thank you again for having me for this. Thank you. This is going to be a good night, yes. and we want to start out with a really awesome conversation, so I'm going to jump right in. How has Girl Scouting pivoted in New York City due to the pandemic? Well, Gia, you can imagine, as the oldest and largest organization serving girls in New York City, 38,000 girls over the past year, uh, the thought of pivoting so quickly and in such an incredible, uh, relevant way was daunting, mm -hmm. right? But we're Girl Scouts. Yeah. And the best asset we have are our girls, our volunteers, and family members. And by listening to them and hearing what was relevant to their needs of what they needed to be addressed within their family and their home, uh, yes, we moved everything online. We created virtual camps to keep girls connected with the outdoors. We created uh, all of the workplace visits virtually that the Leadership Institute girls could participate in. Uh, but the really important fundamental facts that we found that our, our, our true, true volunteers and family members needed was a sense of continuity, consistency, and the ability to stay connected. Ah, continuity, consistency, and the ability to stay connected. I love that. <laughs> and, and I love that you all were able to bring everything online, like you were saying. But why is the Girl Scout experience critical for girls and their families, especially now? Well, now, now more than ever. I mean, we see what happened this past year uh, with the pandemic and the recession and the, the effects of job loss uh, and and the recession impacting women so much more and women of color so much more, yeah. right? So these girls are in a generation that sees a gap in that workforce pipeline. Uh, they see the effects of, of really abuse that we've had for the planet over yeah. the past few decades mm -hmm. uh, that we need to make up for. They see that there are social justice issues that they want to address sure. and, and they need that space to do that. They need to know that we're the organization that will be 100% focused on their needs. Mm. And that's what we do every day, one girl at a time. 
Mm, yes, and I, I, that having that space, especially as a young woman, is so important. So we already, we already know the Girl Scouts do that. <laughs> During the pandemic, many of us bought cookies from the amazing Troop 6000, a Girl Scout program specially designed to serve girls in the New York City shelter system. So how did it feel to see the generosity of others through their crazy sales. <laughs> overwhelming, overwhelming. As you mentioned, Troop 6000 is a program like no other. It was designed specifically to serve girls in the New York City shelter system. We started four years ago with one location and a handful of girls, mm -hmm. and we've now served more than 1,500 girls in over 21 locations across the five boroughs. But the need is unfortunately still there and will be more so over the next few years. Uh, when we were in person, we used to do a pop-up shop at Union Square yeah. where thousands of New Yorkers would come and line up and support the girls and cheer them on. Uh, but what these girls did this year, what was all, all businesses did, right? Switch to digital. Yeah. Um, but going out in public on a social media platform and telling your story when you're experiencing homelessness takes so much courage. Mm -hmm. And to see the response from the public to these girls of saying, we're here for you, We've got you, um, and we'll be here to support you. It was it was overwhelming. Yes. One thing New Yorkers know how to do is stand together at all times, <laughs> yes. especially in hard times. So I love that they were able to experience the love of New York. So like you were saying, everything's going virtual. And with all that we've learned from 2020, what does Girl Scouting look like in 2021? It's a great question. But we know it's not like Girl Scouting looked like for you. Yes. It's not what Girl <laughs> yes. Scouting looked like for me. <laughs> um, it's actually not even what Girl Scouting looked like this past year. Uh, I think what we're going to see is, is an amalgamation of the success of the impacts and out, uh, outcomes that we've had for the last 107 years as yeah. an organization, combined with these fantastic uh, data-driven results that we've seen by moving everything to new platforms. Um, it'll be blended. It will be, it will look like the girls. It will be relevant to them. It will be fluid. It will be diverse. It will be equitably distributed. Um, and it will be pretty exciting. I'm ready to watch how this all comes to life because I know you all have it in the bag for that. So what advice do you have for all the Girl Scouts, forever, former, current, all of the Girl Scouts <laughs> watching tonight? Oh, for all the girls watching tonight. Well, normally, um, I find my inspiration from working with the girls directly. Yeah. Uh, on a daily basis, uh, I, I can leave my office and find inspiration. Uh, and it's been hard this past year to, yes. to be able to do that as, without connecting. Um, but these girls know that they are our priority. Mm -hmm. And they're my priority. And, and having five daughters myself, I will give all the girls the advice that I give my own daughters, which is uh, be true to your authentic self, be fierce, be bold, don't apologize for your ambition or your achievements, mm -hmm. uh, and just face every day like it is yours to own. Ooh. Change the world. Just go change the world. Go change the world. <laughs> This has been so great. I'm already so inspired. And we're only a few minutes in. And the community of Girl Scouts in New York City is incredibly awesome. So thank you so much to Meredith for being here today. I am so impressed with the way the Girl Scout family has stayed connected throughout the entire pandemic. And your words truly your advice is going to stick with me for a very long time, Meredith. So thank you so much for being here. Thank and you. Of course. <laughs> it's really thank us. Because <laughs> I'm just thanking you and you're thanking me. <laughs> so it is now my great pleasure to introduce Tori, an Ambassador Girl Scout from Manhattan. Welcome, Tori, and thank you for joining us. Thank you, Gia. Our first award for the evening goes to an extraordinary guest who has spent the last year bringing hope and joy through the music industry during the pandemic. The legendary DJ, rapper, beatboxer, producer, photographer, and philanthropist has moved millions on wax with timeless records on stage and online with his revolutionary Club Quarantine Instagram Live series. Not only did his Club Quarantine bring entertainment and healing environment to so many people during this pandemic, but it also positively impacted the world, raising millions for first responders, HBCUs, the CDC, and the Apollo Theater and more. After spreading hope online, he now makes an artistic statement with a full length album coming in 2021 and is hoping a, a club quarantine Girl Scouts NYC edition tomorrow evening on his Instagram, which we will not want to miss. We are thrilled to present the 2021 Good Deeds DJ Award to D Nice. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you for 
for this beautiful award. Um, thank you to all of, that are involved in the Girl Scouts, uh, from the CEO down to the troop leaders. Uh, especially want to shout out to all 30, 38,000. Wow, that's a lot, man. That's that's like a club quarantine party. 38,000 girls and young women who are um, in the Girl Scouts in New York City. There are a lot of daisies out there on your way to being ambassadors, which is so amazing. Um, you know, when I started club quarantine, it was initially about me trying to stay connected to people. And when I realized that it was the music and the, the community that was being built was healing to so many people, it made me want to get on and continue doing this every day, every single day for, you know, nearly every day for like the last year. Um, and it's been important for me to continue being a source of inspiration to people, not just in New York and not just in the U.S., but people all over the world. Um, you know, so... Like each Girl Scout, each day I try to be courageous and confident and have character, but um, know that all of you do all of, we what all of the what we're doing is to make this world a better place, and and that's always been one of my top priorities in life as a recording artist, as a rapper, as a photographer, as a producer, a DJ, all of these things, and most importantly as dad. So being a dad of two girls, I've been you know consuming a lot of Girl Scout cookies for like the last two two decades. And um, it's something that I'm proud of, and, and this award is something I'm extremely proud of. Congrats to all of my fellow nominees, or honorees, rather, especially my friend Janine. And what everyone needs to know is Janine, Janine Lightbird is one of the most incredible people. And, you know, she's been extremely supportive of my career, especially my DJ career, um, always being there, always making sure that I was taking care of doing work with BET, whether it was the BET Awards or just doing things in general on the philanthropic side with BET. So congratulations, Jalene. And um, congrats to all of the gold award troops. Wait, 20, 2508. Oh, that's the family. New York. Let's go. I love it, man. Thank you, everyone, for this beautiful award. Thank you, D-Nice. I love you, D-Nice. I'm so proud of you and all that you've done this year. And I've spent many hours working on my dance moves while logged on to Club Quarantine. And D-Nice is also BT family, so we've worked together quite a bit. And I'm so proud and so thankful for all that you've done to make the world a, a brighter place this past year, especially. We cannot wait to join you on your Instagram live for Club Quarantine Girl Scout edition tomorrow night. I hope to see all of our Girl Scouts there dancing along Long, including me young a senior girl scout joining us tonight from queens welcome me young thank you gia i am so excited to be here our next award this evening goes to kia clark the ceo of the new york liberty as ceo kia leads and manages all business aspects of the liberty organization including strategic planning revenue p l and operations Prior to joining the Liberty, she worked on all areas of WNBA business as a member of team marketing and business operations at the NBA WNBA League office. Kia is the first chief operating officer in the New York Liberty franchise history and is a member of the WNBA's Social Justice Council. The Girl Scouts of Greater New York is so thankful for our partnership with the New York Liberty bringing virtual events to Girl Scouts in New York City and introducing them to inspirational leaders like Kia who paved the way for girls like me. We are proud to present the first 2021 Gold Achievement Award to Kia Clark. It is with great pleasure that I accept the 2021 Gold Achievement Award from Girl Scouts of Greater New York. I must first begin by thanking Meredith, Girl Scouts, and all of those who have been involved in the Gold Achievement Gala. I am truly honored to be presented with this award. I'd also like to congratulate my fellow honorees, Janine, Marcy, Patrice, and Brooklyn's own Girl Scout Troop 2508. Although I was not a Girl Scout growing up, I did play basketball. And so I recognize the similarities in being on a sports team and being a part of Girl Scouts. Things like the importance of teamwork, resilience, consistency, and of course, building lifelong friendships. I am fortunate to be a part of an organization like the New York Liberty, where we work every single day to promote confidence and courage within women and girls. As a franchise, serving the community has been an integral part of our identity since our inception in 1996. 
And as a leader of the New York Liberty Organization, it means so much to me that we've been welcomed with open arms as we transition to playing full time at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. I'm often asked who inspires me the most, and it has been and continues to be my own mother. My mother is the strongest woman that I know. At a young age, she instilled in me the importance of grit, self-determination, and for that, I am forever grateful. But outside of my mom, I would say that girls and women like all of you inspire me. The Girl Scouts dedication to continuing to serve the community despite all of the challenges that we faced in this last year is not only admirable, but also inspiring. I'd like to thank all of you for your continued devotion to providing essential programming for girls to grow and learn. And I wanna thank you again for this prestigious award. I hope to see you all in person at a New York Liberty game this summer. A big thank you to Mi Young, who did a great job, and thank you to Kia for those very touching remarks. Congratulations on this honor, and good luck to the Liberty and all the WNBA this season as well. I don't know about y'all, but I will definitely be tuning into those games and cheering for the ladies of the New York Liberty. I would like to welcome our next Girl Scout ambassador, Emma, who is an ambassador Girl Scout and is also from Manhattan. Thank you, Gia, for the warm welcome. It is a great privilege to introduce our next honoree, Janine Liebird, the Chief Social Impact and Communications Officer at BET. In her role, Liebird leads and elevates a portfolio of multi-platform social change initiatives that empower BET Network's audience to have an impact on the critical issues facing the Black community today. Additionally, she leads the company's corporate communications, internal communications, social responsibility, and events teams. Janine develops initiatives that aim to empower and measurably impact the Black community. In 2020, she built several action-oriented impact campaigns, including BET's COVID relief effort in partnership with the United Way Worldwide, raising over $19 million in emergency relief. Janine also led the company's response in the aftermath of George Floyd, with the creation of the Content for Change initiative focused on utilizing media to help combat racism and racial inequities in America. Janine is a titan in the industry and an incredible inspiration for all of the Girl Scouts in New York City. We are excited to present Janine Liebird with the Gold Achievement Award. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. Good evening, everyone, from my home to yours. I am so humbled to be recognized as an honoree at tonight's Girl Scouts of Greater New York Virtual Gold Achievement Gala, coming to you live from Brooklyn, I should mention. Um, and congratulations to all of the honorees here tonight. Uh, the benefits of being a member of Girl Scouts are really too numerous to mention, um, and I'm so proud to say I've seen this firsthand from being a Girl Scout troop leader when my eldest daughter was a member of, a, of her troop. And it is just a pleasure to be here tonight and celebrate the incredible, amazing work of the Girl Scouts, particularly supporting and making our city so great. At BET, our mission is to entertain, engage, and empower our community. So it's really wonderful to partner with Girl Scouts on your mission to empower girls, to build courage, confidence, and character. And as a mother of two girls, I know all of those things are so very important. As Chief Communication and Social Impact Officer at BET, I'm so fortunate to lead our social change initiatives that are designed to empower all of us by being the change that we'd like to see within our community, either from voting, becoming uh, educated and going on to whatever that next level of education is. And in this day and age, making sure that we take care of our health and get vaccinated. To all of those young women watching tonight, I would encourage you to let your curiosity lead you and to question what is and to wonder what could be. And through all of that, always know that you are enough. The lessons that you'll learn today will position you for amazing things. And I look forward to you all changing the world. And I have to give a special shout out to Miranda, who interviewed me and was so amazing. And I know she has so much incredible uh, future ahead of her. 
I'm proud to be here virtually in the presence of so many young women who I know will be our future leaders. And I hope one day to be watching you all receive this award. So at this time, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd like to say Liz for her support of me. I'd like to thank all of the leadership of Girl Scouts. And I have to give a special shout out to Gia Peppers. Thank you so much for hosting tonight and D-Nice. What can I say? I love you. Thank you for keeping us and, and keeping us strong and healthy and sane uh, during this pandemic. And to all of my fellow honorees, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Emma and Janine. Janine, the work you are doing is so critical to not our, only our generation, but to the future generation of Girl Scouts tuning in tonight. You are truly remarkable, and I am so proud to have known you for this long as a member of the BET family and feel honored to call you a friend and a colleague forever. I love you. And before we continue with our remaining Gold Achievement Award honorees, we have a special message from our future woman of distinction, Despina Anastasio, who wants to speak about something near and dear to the hearts of the Girl Scouts of Greater New York, Camp Kaufman. The Girl Scouts of Greater New York's Camp Kaufman is an incredible place, a 425-acre beautiful camp offering quality outdoor educational opportunities to girls of all ages across New York City. It's a place to dream, to discover, and to develop. Camp Kaufman allows girls to break mental and physical barriers as they learn new skills and challenge themselves. At Camp Kaufman, every girl is welcomed with open arms and our differences are celebrated together. Camp Kaufman teaches girls so much more than just the outdoor activities it offers. It teaches us to lead, to explore, to seek out adventure and to push ourselves. Camp teaches us to try new things, to face our fears, to never give up, to always get up and to keep pushing forward. Camp Kaufman is built on grit and grace, challenging girls to dig deep inside themselves and venture outside their comfort zones. From the campfire to the classroom to the boardroom, skills are built that will stick with the girls for the rest of their lives. 2020 has taught us the importance of not taking the nature around us for granted. In a time of isolation, for many of us being outdoors was our saving grace. It brought us little rays of hope and positivity, like feeling the warmth of the sun, a fresh breeze, and the smell of new life. With hope on the horizon and the world starting to open its doors, we look forward to better and brighter days where we can be together at Camp Kaufman again. The Girl Scouts of Greater New York need camp now more than ever. By supporting Camp Kaufman, you are making an investment in the future of our girls and providing them with a safe space to conquer their fears, challenge themselves, and prepare them for anything the world might throw their way. We are so excited for Camp Kaufman to reopen its doors after a year of solitude and offer girls the life-changing experience of learning and growth in a safe and supportive environment. Whether girls find themselves canoeing on the lake, building a campfire, navigating the high ropes course, or scaling the climbing wall, Camp Kaufman will be the outdoor oasis where girls can become the leaders they were born to be. We can't wait to see you at Camp Kaufman where there's enough fresh air and sunshine for us all. Camp Kaufman looks absolutely beautiful, and I cannot wait to go visit and hang out with the Girl Scouts of Greater New York. As a past and forever Girl Scout myself, camping was a great way to conquer new challenges and face my fear. I, it is important for girls living in the city to experience all that nature has to offer in a safe environment with their peers. So let's get back to celebrating our outstanding honorees for this evening. I am gonna turn it over to Michelle Clayman, the chair of the board of directors of the Girl Scouts of Greater New York, co-chair of this event and longtime friend of our next honoree. Welcome, Michelle. It's my great pleasure to introduce the next 2021 Gold Achievement honoree, my dear friend, Marcy Sims. Those of you who watch public television will be familiar with Marcy as a founding trustee and president of the Cy Sims Foundation. Marcy was the CEO of Sims Corp and became one of the youngest female presidents of a New York Stock Exchange company when it went public. These days, Marcy is president of TPD Group LLC, a multi-generational succession planning and consulting company. And she's a founding board member of the ERA project at Columbia Law School, 
which was launched this year in 2021. She helped in the passage of the ERA amendment, with Virginia becoming the 38th state in 2020. Marcy and the Cy Sims Foundation have been supporters of Girl Scouts for many years, and in recent years have been instrumental supporters of our capstone program, the Leadership Institute. The Leadership Institute fosters a new generation of leaders to take action with courage, confidence, and character to drive systemic changes and reform in their communities and ultimately the world at large. More than just a supporter, Marcy is a true friend of the Girl Scouts of Greater New York and an inspiration to all of the girls they serve. It's my tremendous honor to present this 2021 Gold Achievement Award to my dear friend, Marcy Sims. Thank you so much, Michelle. I'm so grateful to be part of this energizing and joyful evening. It's been one of the highlights of this year to be part of planning for tonight. It was a pleasure working with Meredith, Sasha, Kara, and Vanessa. Your dedication has been awesome. And seeing how adaptive the Leadership Institute at Girl Scouts has been during these unprecedented times makes me so proud. I was never a Girl Scout, but growing up, I did enjoy hearing stories about Girl Scouts from neighbors and classmates. I feel blessed to now be in a position of giving and support the efforts of Girl Scouts. I'm humbled by the dedication, creativity, and resilience of the staff and the extensive volunteer network. Your achievements are inspiring, and the proof is in the Scouts. Resilience has always been my North Star, whether being the oldest child of six and having to prepare dinner for my younger siblings, or years later becoming the youngest female president of a New York Stock Exchange company. I know that successfully meeting life's challenges and opportunities takes CCP, confidence, courage, and preparation. And the more you prepare, the more confidence you get, and the more courage. It's a vision of gender equality that makes me optimistic about the future. At the newly established ERA project at Columbia Law School, we are working towards women's equality under the law, finally making it into the Constitution. Thank you, Girl Scouts, for preparing generations who will have found their voices and are ready to take their seats at the table, expecting gender parity in all parts of their lives. The Cy Sims Foundation applauds you and the work that you're doing to brighten our futures. Looking at the world as it is, and then working towards the world that we want and deserve takes tenacity and passion. And the Girl Scouts are passionate. And their passionate directors, Barbara Cooperman, Davia Temmins, and board chair Michelle Clayman, have been great friends and supporters of me over the years. I thank them and my sister, Anna Rees. And being in your company is just such a reward in and of itself. To the Girl Scouts, be safe and let's have a great year. Thank you, Michelle, for that inspirational introduction and for all that you do for the Girl Scouts of Greater New York. And thank you, Marcy, for your powerful remarks and longtime support of the NYC Girl Scouts. Next, we would like to welcome Priscilla, an ambassador Girl Scout from Queens, to introduce our next Gold Scout Achievement honoree. Thank you very much, Gia. It is a pleasure to be here. Our next Gold Achievement honoree, Patrice Tanaka, is a best-selling author public speaker on business and life purpose, serial entrepreneur and co-founder of three award-winning PR and marketing agencies in the consultancy Joyful Planet LLC. Joyful Planet is focused on helping individuals and organizations discover and actively live or operationalize their purpose to unleash greater success, fulfillment, and joy in their personal lives, workplaces, and communities. Patrice serves and has served as a trustee and volunteer for many organizations committed to girl and women's leadership development, economic empowerment, and gender equity, including the Girl Scouts of Greater New York, the Asian Pacific American Women's Leadership Institute, Women's Forum New York, Dress for Success Worldwide, Women, Asian Women in Business, and New York Women in Communications. As a native of Hawaii, 
Let's all welcome Patrice with a warm aloha. Mahalo, Priscilla, and aloha, everyone. I'm delighted to be here in the warm embrace of my Girl Scout family and my sister honorees. I'm a proud Girl Scout, having been a brownie through senior Girl Scout in Hawaii and having served on the Girl Scouts of Greater New York Board for nearly 25 years, yes. And over that time, I've actually thought about rotating off the board. But I believe that our work in girl leadership development is critical in building the next generation of women leaders because we desperately need to achieve gender equity. And I believe Girl Scouts is our largest pipeline for our next generation leaders and the work we do vital to making sure we have women of courage, confidence and character who make the world a better place. Growing up in Hawaii, Asian Americans were in a majority, so I had the luxury of not having to think about my ethnicity or considering it any type of advantage or disadvantage. And even after I moved to New York City in my early 20s and became part of, a, of an ethnic minority for the first time in my life, I still didn't think about my ethnicity. I was just focused on my career. I became more conscious of my Asian American identity when I co-founded the Asian Pacific American Women's Leadership Institute in 1993. And I learned that growing up on the mainland, being an Asian American or Pacific Islander often meant you were the only one in your neighborhood or your school or your community. It also meant that you felt your otherness every day of your life. And back in the 90s, you rarely saw Asian American leaders, much less Asian American women leaders. I have spent decades since the 90s focused on women's leadership, women of color leadership and AAPI women's leadership. Since George Floyd's murder last May, I've been more strongly focused on helping to create greater diversity, equity, and inclusion in all of my communities. My focus and that of others uh, committed to DEI work have been largely focused on Black and Brown communities. I wasn't really focused on the AAPI community, even though there have been growing incidences of anti Asian hate and violence over the past year. The recent shootings in Atlanta, however, got my attention like a punch to the gut. Asian and Asian women in particular were being hunted and killed. The weeks since the Atlanta shootings have been a roller coaster for me, but I found great comfort from my Girl Scouts of Greater New York community. Recently, I spoke to a group of volunteers for our council about rising anti-Asian hate and violence and also participated in a community conversation involving some of the AAPI girls we serve. I'm grateful and proud that our council is holding safe space for AAPI girls to talk about their AAPI experiences and their fear of anti-Asian hate and violence. Being seen, heard, and supported by our Girl Scout allies and sisters means the world to us. So thank you, Girl Scouts of Greater New York, for all that you do to create safe space to build girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. Aloha and mahalo. Thank you, Priscilla, and thank you to Patrice for those inspirational remarks. Your work in the AAPI community to stop violence and hate is so crucially important, and we all stand beside you to stop these terrible acts of racism. All racism against anyone is wrong. I am now thrilled to introduce our next group of honorees, the members of the Girl Scout Troop 2508. Girl Scout Troop 2508 is the inaugural Girl Scout Troop at Packer Collegiate Institute in Brooklyn Heights, New York. In 
inspired by the success of Troop 6000, the Girl Scout program serving girls in New York City homeless shelter system, Girl Scout Troop 2508, set out to be a sister to every Girl Scout. They did this by creating a new and sustainable model of Girl Scouting as their gold award projects. Anna Bell Kim, Sydney Green, Mele Bousset, Maddie Penalver, Carly Moraz, and Jordana Sampson believed that to be a true Girl Scout meant advocating for Girl Scouting to be available and accessible to all girls. But I will let you let them tell it all themselves. Welcome, Troop 2508. My troop and I were inspired by Troop 6000, but at the time we were too young to volunteer. So we realized another cohort of underserved girls not accessing Girl Scouts. We partnered with Grand Street Settlement at Rutgers to bring Girl Scouts to a wider community. Rutgers hosts after-school programming that can accommodate all economic and scheduling conflicts. Many of these girls stay there as late as 10 p.m. We wanted to bring Girl Scouts to them and create a new model and welcome every single Girl Scout. We also want to continue to grow ourselves and expand what it means to be a leader and a sister to every Girl Scout. Once we realized that our original plans to join and assisting Troop 6000 would not be possible, the project truly came into fruition. We were slightly set back, but still were eager to have an impact on a larger community. This troop and Soma Wants to Come are essential for creating outlets and opportunities specifically for at-risk youth. We found that our leadership skills were becoming refined with the work we were doing, but more importantly, this troop encouraged these girls to take on more roles of leadership as well. As they got older and began assisting us to run activities, their confidence unquestionably bloomed and their desire to stay involved with the Girl Scouts did as well. Our troop meetings were held once a week and each time the girls would run eagerly into the room, many of them either hugging or jumping onto us. And to start, we would take attendance and do a warm up followed by the main activity. As we got into the activity, we would try to have them get as much hands-on experience as possible because we found that this was the most effective way of engagement. And then to close, we would recite the law and promise and our Make New Friends song. Unfortunately, this was not able to continue when COVID hit and we really missed seeing the girls during quarantine, but to maintain our presence in their lives, we pivoted to be a virtual troop and each of us recorded at home lessons, which the girls could follow along from their own homes. In order to provide exciting troop meetings every week for nearly three years, a lot of coordination and administrative management went into it. Some of these tasks included making sure our schedules lined up with the center schedule, keeping in mind for different school breaks and after school activities. I also created different forms and templates so that we could all create and log our different activities. We also needed to make sure we had the proper equipment and supplies each week. Along with that, we kept track of the attendance each week and logged our own project hours. And with the pandemic causing us to move remote, I had to keep direct contact with the community center director so that she could pass along the materials we sent. All this work was definitely tedious and could be time consuming, but it was all necessary to provide a great Girl Scout experience. The lessons that my troop members learned from this project are lessons that we will appreciate for the rest of our lives. Spending time with these young girls and having the freedom to grow our own leadership skills developed our patience, adaptability, teamwork, and creativity. After this unique process, we learned firsthand that the most challenging experiences are truly the most worthwhile. Thanks to the Young Girl Scouts at Rutgers Community Center, the six of us have become more dynamic, passionate, and proud. I would encourage every single Girl Scout in New York to pursue an experience exactly like this one because it truly shaped who I am as a leader today. The Gold Award project allowed us to not only teach the girls important qualities and lessons that will benefit them in the future, but it also showed the girls that the sky is the limit for them. It was very important that each of us taught different topics because that meant the girls would learn a variety of important skills from learning how to create lava lamps to understanding the importance of sportsmanship and teamwork. This project allowed us to individually teach something that we're each passionate about while also having the same outcome. And that was showing our troop that girls and women are capable of doing and becoming anything they want, which is what I believe us as teenage girls teaching these interesting topics showed our troop. I wanna thank my amazing troop members, my incredible leaders and my inspiring mom. I would like to thank all the staff and faculty at the Rutgers Community Center, as well as our amazing leaders.
I'd like to thank our leaders and also my family. I would like to thank our leaders and the staff at the Rutgers Community Center. I would like to thank the young girls at the Rutgers Center and my amazing mom. I would like to thank my troop leaders and my fellow Girl Scouts. Wow, that was wonderful. Because of each of you, so many girls were able to experience Girl Scouts. Thank you for being an inspiration to us all. And you should all be very proud of what you have accomplished together. At this time, it is my pleasure to bring back the CEO and fearless leader of the Girl Scouts of Greater New York, Meredith Mascara. Thank you, Gia. Oh, so inspirational. I hope everyone is feeling as inspired as we are tonight. On behalf of the board of directors, the volunteers, the girls, and our honorees, thank you so much for being here tonight at our Gold Achievement Gala, where we celebrate those who turn ambition into achievement. Our vision at Girl Scouts of Greater New York is to create a New York City in which every girl feels empowered to lead in her community, the workplace, and the world. We prioritize empowering the 38,000 girls we serve to be leaders in STEM, business and entrepreneurship, the outdoors, and advocacy by providing agency to succeed in any field during any circumstance or situation. This past year tested the strength of organizations and individuals alike. We all experienced uncertainty, instability, and loss. The inequality of those experiences was amplified. Girls look to us for strong leadership and answers to the unanswerable. We fearlessly stepped in to address the immediate needs of girls, their families, and the community around them to provide consistency, continuity, and the space to stay connected. We had to respond with intentionality and had to exemplify resiliency, perseverance, and courage. And we did. <laughs> We've redefined our relevance quickly by moving our programs to online, yes, but also by facing isolation and mental health issues head on, and by offering all programs at no cost to every girl. Now, over one year later, we are on the cusp of emerging from a global pandemic, but we are still facing unresolved civil unrest, a recession, and communities with unclear paths to recovery. This generation, this Gen Z COVID generation, is the largest, most diverse, proudly holds the title of the social justice generation, and they hold us accountable to be responsive to their hope for a better tomorrow. We have heard loud and clear from girls that advocacy and activism focused on diversity, equity, and inclusion is what must be addressed in order to begin recovery. Girls took the lead on conversations in troop meetings, community conversations through social media, and in workshops online. They led us to a clearer understanding of what is expected. We learned that our leadership experience must be able to focus holistically on the whole girl and her leadership journey. And in order to do that, we must accept that this journey does not begin and end the same way for every girl. But equitable delivery models can lead to equality. Now, more than ever, we have to be responsible for what we say and do and take action to become an anti-racist organization, ensuring that girls feel like they belong and that their unique life experiences provide a better experience for others. We will not just make statements. We are taking action. We began internally by assessing, confronting, and revealing areas where we need improvement by getting closer to the systemic problems we are getting closer to the solutions and are better equipped to create a space that is equitable and inclusive. We accept that this work does not happen overnight, but we won't accept not doing it. So over the next few years, we will ensure readiness to serve all New York City girls by increasing training and accountability for staff and volunteers on equity, inclusion, accessibility, mental health, and other essential practices. We will expand and improve program delivery models that remove financial, accessibility, geographical, and cultural barriers to participation. We will provide an intentionally designed, accessible Girl Scouting experience. We will offer responsive, girl-led programs that meet them where they are and create a safe space and reliable space where girls can bring their whole selves to process the world and the circumstances surrounding them. Because of supporters like you, this past year, we made bold decisions, led by example, 
tested and demonstrated the strength of our movement. We solved problems for a moment in time, and now it is time to look to the future, a future filled with equity, hope, and opportunities. Tonight, let us promise girls that we will be the organization that will always be there, the one that will challenge others to do better, the one that revolutionizes the definition of impact, the one that creates the space for girls to ambitiously lead, not tomorrow, but today. Thank you so much, Meredith and Gia, for taking us this far through the program. I'm Caroline Irvin. I am from Christie's Auction House, and I am thrilled to be here with you tonight in support of the Girl Scouts of Greater New York. I'm going to take you through our Good Deeds Auction, and let me tell you how that's going to work. I am going to start with high, bold, big increment levels, and they're going to be number donation levels, and I am hoping that you will Click to donate, and then I am going to drop those increments more and more each time until I hit a number that I am hoping every single person out there watching tonight feels comfortable donating at. I'm going to tell you what those levels are. Ladies and gentlemen, I heard that you are not only a ridiculously good-looking audience, but you are also incredibly generous. So I'm going to start tonight with $10,000. I know it's a big number. If you can donate $10,000 tonight, click now. $10,000 supports 10 girls throughout the entire year-long experience in the Leadership Institute. It provides the Girl Scouting experience to 100 girls in the New York City shelter system for an entire year through Troop 6000. And I see we have a $10,000 donation has come in from Paddle 7. Incredible. Thank you so much. $10,000. Wow. That's a huge number. I knew you would show up. Thank you. $10,000. I'm now going to ask for $5,000. If you can donate $5,000 tonight to Girl Scouts of Greater New York, don't hesitate. Now's your chance. $5,000 sends 30 girls to Camp Kaufman this summer, where they will have access to swimming, boating, hiking, and more. You saw the incredible video of Camp Kaufman. What an experience. Let's make it happen for these girls tonight. $5,000 also provides technology and hardware for girls participating in the cyber security programs. Click now for $5,000. Let me see it. Don't hesitate. I know you're out there. I know how generous this crowd is. Let's see $5,000 donations. If you can donate $5,000 tonight, Click now, don't hesitate, right there at the bottom of your screen. Let's see $5,000 donations. I do wanna take a moment. I know many of you donated earlier in the program. The numbers were racking up, so thank you for that. You are incredible already going into our Good Deeds auction. $5,000, last call then for $5,000. I'm gonna drop it to $2,500. If you can donate $2,500 tonight, now's your chance to do it. $2,500 helps maintain the consistent, high-quality, girl-led programs that are the hallmark of the Girl Scout experience through sponsoring virtual programs focused on STEM and environmental leadership. Incredible work that this organization is doing, and we can't do it without you. So please, $2,500, if you can give it now, do it now. Support uh, $2,500 also supports the Girl Scout Access fund and underwrites the cost for an entire troop for one year in a low-income area. And I see them coming in. Thank you, Paddle 1710, 2,500. You are awesome. Thank you so much. Paddle 1725, incredible, $2,500 coming in. Paddle 1742, you came in at 5,000. Thank you. $5,000 snuck in there with Paddle 1742. You guys are amazing. Last call then for 2,500. Click it now, 2,500. I'm going to drop it down then to $1,000. $1,000 provides an internship stipend for a girl in the Leadership Institute as she gets hands-on experience in the business world. 
We need leaders now from diverse backgrounds more than ever. And you can help get that started tonight with a thousand dollar donation. So click for a thousand pedal 1739. I see you. Thank you. A thousand dollars pedal 1739. Incredible. A thousand dollar donation also gets eight girls started in the Troop 6000 program by providing her with a uniform, patches, pins, badge books, all the things she needs to be successful as a Girl Scout. One thousand dollars. Keep them coming at one thousand. I see a new donation of five thousand. Thank you from Pedal 1746. Awesome. You can jump it up anytime you want. Let's keep it going at any increment. How about five hundred now? $500 donations. $500 supports an ambassador level Girl Scout as they work toward completing their gold award project, all while engaging in the Leadership Institute experience. $500 provides scholarships for college level cybersecurity certification courses. Let's make this happen for them tonight. They cannot do it without you. $500 donations, let's see them. I see some coming in. Pedal 1724, thank you so much. $500 from you. Pedal 1727, thank you. $500, incredible. Thank you for your generosity. Let's make these programs happen for these girls. We can't do it without your support. And I'm going to ask for $250 now. If you can donate $250, click now. Click that increment at $250. $250 provides financial aid for girls and families from New York City's underserved communities. It can also cover the cost of badges and supplies for our girls in their cybersecurity camps. It can do such important work. Let's make it happen for them tonight. $250 I see coming in. Lots of them from 1721. Thank you, pedal 1716. Thank you so much. Pedal 1728 at 250. Incredible generosity happening right now. Pedal 1737. Thank you so much. Pedal 1744 and pedal 17. 1947 came in at 500. Just a reminder, you can also up the increments too. Keep me on my toes here. We are at $250. Last chance then for $250. Before I drop it down one more time to $100 donations. Let's see it, $100 donations. If you gave before and you can give a little more, dig deep, let's get there for the Girl Scouts of Greater New York tonight. $100 can help build a girl of courage, confidence, and character who makes the world a better place. You have a chance to make the world a better place right now by making this opportunity available to a girl. I need. 1,000, thank you, Paddle 1750 came in at 1,000. You are fabulous. Paddle 1749 has clicked for $250. Thank you so much. Last chance then, $1,000. Thank you, Paddle 1751, incredible. Keep it coming in. $100, last chance. 2,500, pedal 1754, thank you very much, $2,500. Keep them coming, any level, click that mouse now. We are here, you guys are doing an incredible job. I see them rolling in, 1755, pedal 1756, both at $1,000, incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to wrap it up, but I want to remind you that no amount of money is too small tonight. So please dig deep, be generous. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for your donations. And while we are calculating, Gia will give us some reminders for the remainder of this amazing gala celebration weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you, Caroline. And as a reminder, the silent auction does not close until 8.30 tomorrow evening. So please make sure to check out some of our fantastic items. Be sure to click the auction tab on girlscoutsgala.org. Don't forget the party continues tomorrow night. Join D-Nice and the Girl Scouts of Greater New York tomorrow night on Instagram at 7 p.m. for Club Quarantine Girl Scouts NYC edition. This hour-long party with D-Nice will celebrate 
celebrate the New York City Girl Scouts and is open to anyone and everyone as we sing and dance along to close out this gala celebration week. Make sure to comment your song request, troop number, and give D-Nice some love. Isn't he incredible? We <laughs> love him. It has been a true pleasure, pleasure and inspiration to be here with you all tonight. My heart is so full. I'm so proud of all the things that the New York City Girl Scouts are doing. You all are incredible. A gigantic thank you to all of the Girl Scouts who participated and to each of the Gold Achievement honorees, to Meredith and all of our special guests, and most importantly, to all of you for your dedication and support to Girl Scouts of Greater New York Community. Let's welcome back Meredith to share with us the fundraising total. Oh my goodness, Gia, I'm so excited. Thank you, you have been such a wonderful host and we are so grateful to have you as part of the program tonight. Get ready to pop your confetti at home uh, because I am so excited to announce that we have almost reached our goal and we are so close to $580,000. All right, and I see on our little screen right here in front of me that there are still some items coming in. Um, you have all night. Keep texting, keep raising your virtual paddle, and, uh, and, and keep supporting the future generation of young female leadership. The volume of support tonight is inspiring, and each of you attending brings us hope towards a better tomorrow. It takes courage to attend another Zoom, I know. It takes courage to raise a virtual paddle. <laughs> but girls in New York City have been demonstrating their courage, confidence, and character as they navigated through and around every obstacle thrown in their path. So before we say goodbye, I want to share with you some courageous words that girls have shared with me this past year. Amira, an ambassador Girl Scout, wants you to know that when everything in her life was out of control this past year, her troop meetings and the Leadership Institute gave her a space where she felt in control and she could rely on Girl Scouts to be consistently there for her. Ari shared with us that the best part of this last year was working on her Gold Award. Yes, she had to change her project. Yes, it was very hard to do that but it gave her clear goals to aspire to, and it gave her hope because she knew she was going to complete it. We have witnessed girls who have gone above and beyond in achieving their goals this year, and we see that the girls, like the ones you met here tonight, prioritize Girl Scouts in their lives in a year where many of us struggled to see what was necessary. We wonder why, when the world went on pause, Girl Scouting did not, because Girl Scouting to girls in New York City isn't an activity or a task. It's a way of life. It is something within them that they prioritize in order to support their ambition, to feel like they belong, and to continually drive them towards their dreams. Tonight, follow their lead and prioritize Girl Scouting in your life. By making a promise tonight, you can actively take part in creating a better tomorrow, one that is filled with joy, hope, opportunities, and equity. On behalf of the Girl Scouts of Greater New York family, thank you for helping girls make the world a better place.